Hey everyone, welcome back. And in the last few videos, we have been talking about the Stardist library and how amazing it is in segmenting our objects of interest. And in the last video, we tried to segment nuclei in a whole slide image. I said we tried to because all the way towards the end, it kind of crashed in extracting the uh, region properties and not when we were segmenting because we were using the free version of Colab. But, uh, but in this case, I don't anticipate anything like this because this is a pretty straightforward application where we are starting off with a uh, KI67 image where you have uh, HND stain in purple and dab. And I used exactly the same a few lectures ago when I was talking about the Voronoi Otsu based segmentation. I'm doing exactly something identical where we are separating the H uh, and E stains and the dab stain. And we are going to uh, segment these images uh, instead of uh, Voronoi Otsu, we are going to use our Stardust to segment these nuclei, uh, both in the DAB and in the H and E image, H image in this example. So we get the nuclei count of the total nuclei because H actually stains all nuclei and DAB is only certain uh, nuclei here. And then extract uh, the minimum, mean area, diameter, and so on. And then just look at the ratio of the mean areas just and call it positivity rate or something. So this is the goal for this tutorial. So let's go ahead and jump into our code. And as uh, usual, I'm using our Google Colab and the image is the one that I downloaded from a quick Google search of KI67. So this is the image I ran into, so I cannot share it with you. I don't own it, but you can Google search yourself. And I uploaded that to my, uh, to my account, to my Google Drive, so it's accessible uh, to my uh, Colab notebook. And all the other details are provided here. For example, if you are looking at uh, the original scikit image uh, library where uh, we have this function that takes RGB image converts to HED, then uh, the link is up there. Now let's go ahead and jump into the code and start running it. So this first part, again, if you are a regular viewer, you probably get will get bored for the first couple of minutes because I covered this four lectures ago, exactly this part. So we're taking this RKI67 image and separating the H and E and D components of these. And then we are going to take only the H and D, like uh, the DAB images and then doing our analysis part using Stardust, like segmentation using Stardust. So let's go ahead and run these libraries, import these libraries, and this function is going to take a RGB image, a color image, and convert that into a HED space, right there, HED space. And from HED, we are extracting only the H and D parts. That's what we are interested in. We are extracting everything else, but these are the only two uh, parts that we care about uh, going forward. So first, let's run the function and let us load the image. I put the image as uh, on my drive, like I already mentioned, and right away I'm converting that into HED and the HD image, let's not worry about it for now. You can read the notes up there in case you're curious. Okay, so that's it, pretty fast, because it's a small image, the beauty of working with small images. Let's go ahead and plot these, uh, both H and D images, so there you go. So that's the H component and that's the DAB component or the D component of this specific image. So I keep calling it DAB, this is KI67 image. So for those biologists who are getting mad at me, I am not a biologist, so guilty. Um, okay, so now our goal is to segment nuclei in both images. How do we proceed? First thing first, they have bright background. So we need to change this from a bright bar background to dark background. So the easiest thing to do is just invert these images. We're done. So that's what we're going to do, but we are going to use Stardust library. So we have to install that in our environment right here. So let's go ahead and do that. And it should be pretty relatively quick. There you go. And from the Stardust, let's go ahead and import Stardust 2D. This is the method that we use to define our model. And uh, we don't need this step. Uh, we are not uh, uh, downloading that, but anyway, uh, this is a test image for nuclei, but we are not gonna use that. We are going to use our own image, okay? And then we are going to use uh, render label because we wanna plot. And uh, from CSB deep utilities, we're going to use normalize because we want to normalize our input image. So that's the reason for that. And now uh, look at what retrain models are available as part of Stardust. 
Uh, we went through this again in our previous lectures, fluorescence, HND, original paper, and something called demo. We are going to use HND because this is, uh, sorry, let's use flow because this is not an HND image, right? HND image was the last uh, week's image where we have uh, a whole slide image and we didn't do anything to the input image. Now we took our input image, uh, which kind of looked like HND, but that's not. That's an immunohistochemistry type of image, IHC type of image, but we extracted these two. We are going to convert them into something that kind of looks like a fluorescent image. So that's the trick. So let's go ahead and use this model, FLUO model. It may sound confusing, but uh, if you are using non-nuclei, some other type of objects, this can be a very good object to start with if you have a dark background and bright objects uh, uh, on a, against a dark background. Okay, so I'm defining my model as a 2D versatile fluoro right there, pre-trained model, so it downloads from wherever it needs to download it from. And let us look at our images one more time right here. I already talked about bright background, which means let's go ahead and invert them. Invert both images and plot. So how do they look like? Yeah, there you go. So now they look kind of like fluorescent uh, images, right? Microscopist, <laughs> I'm talking to you, non-microscopist, dark background, bright objects. And we need to segment these objects. How do we do that? Well, model.predict instances, that's it on our D image, H image. Let's do that here. And I'm capturing both the labels and the details because details con contains information that we need uh, uh, for, certain as uh, for certain analysis. Let me put it that way. So this is doing our uh, predict instances. And in the last video, we did predict instances big, which is for large images, very large images, yeah? And after this, we will go ahead and plot and hopefully we'll see a beautiful image for our dab image. There you go. On the left hand side, our input image, right hand side segmented nuclei. It did an amazing, amazing job in doing a, the segmentation. Look at this area. One nuclei, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I mean, it did such an amazing job. I constantly get uh, amazed by the power of Stardust. Okay, let me stop admiring and plot the second part, which is the H part with, that has way too many objects, but again, did a great job in doing instance segmentation where each object is different. It's not just showing you the semantic segmentation. Now let us get our region props and region props actually requires only the labeled image and your input image. Input image so it can get the intensities. So region props is from our scikit image library. So from region props table, uh, I am reporting the area, equivalent diameter, mean intensity and solidity. So let us go ahead and extract those and there you go. This is my area. And uh, let us go ahead and extract very similar values for my H and D. And by the way, I'm just looking at the head, like the top five nuclei from uh, the, the DAB image. And this is from the H image right there. And here it is and mean values and everything. Now let's go ahead and look at the mean results from the D and the H. Like I'm, uh, all I'm doing is basically taking the uh, axis equals to zero dot mean, which basically for pandas data frame reports the mean for every column and the mean label means nothing. Uh, the mean area is 576 there and 429 here for the H image. So that kind of gives you, we should also pr plot the standard deviation. So you get like a good idea of how different is this population compared to that population. Yeah, so a few other parameters right there. Roundedness, solidity, pretty much very similar solidity values right there. And if you want, uh, what is the DAB positivity? Meaning what is the area of DAB nuclei positive versus the total nuclei? It's pretty straightforward, simple calculation, 43.2%. So there you go, we did a full analysis in no time. Well, not in no time, in uh, very little time, I should say, using the Stardust uh, model that got pre-trained on a fluorescent image, but we kind of adapted it to our images and it did an amazing job. So I hope you really liked these series of videos where I focused on Stardust. Again, uh, whenever I find like new exciting libraries that make our life easy in achieving our tasks, I tend to create certain videos, these type of tutorial videos. And if you like them, uh, go ahead and tell me about it, like by liking these videos or leaving your comments saying, hey, do more of these videos and I'll go explore 
uh, the world out there in finding the right libraries for you guys. Okay, thank you very much.